Hello everybody, my name is Q7Gaming and this time we're doing something pretty much a little bit different. I have an inter this is an interview with another Undertale game developer and this person's name is uh, Elmaster. Go ahead and say hello. Hi! <laughs> Alright, so we're just gonna do like a few questions. I already did this with like Dingy Spy before, but last time it was like it's in a text thing. But this time we're gonna do like in person, like one on one type thing. So it'll be pretty fun. So, let's just start with the, you know, icebreaker question. How are you today? I'm doing pretty good. It's been a fine day today. And you? I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> Alright. So, Hi. when did you first join the community? Okay, I might have to look up this one because it's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no worries, like, no worries. Okay, my first ever Undertale video that is already deleted it was four years ago, like the seven, the seventy, no, oh, sixteen of April of two thousand and nineteen. Wow, four years in the community is when you like first joined. Kind of, yeah. I, I I was just doing like gameplay videos at the time. Ooh, wow, that's actually fantastic. You're just like normal gameplay, just fun. Yeah. All right. So, what got you inspired to do development? Wait, what, can you repeat? Um, what got you inspired to do, you know, Undertale development? I really liked, like, uh, games. Like, I'm, I always wanted to make, like, a game of my own. And when I started playing Undertale, I really loved that. And I saw, like, a lot of people that, uh, that make really cool games, kind of like Dusters, for example. And I really... Just wanted to make my own, so I searched for like MKTAR engine or something, and like clicked him, which was the my, which was an it's my engine at the time, and just kind of got into it. So the MKTAR engine on Click Team was your very first coding engine, is that right? Yes, like the the first decent engine because I tried to make like one of my own, but I really didn't know anything about Click Team, so it, it, that didn't count. Ah. Interesting. So when did you in get to interact with like other big members of, com of the community? Because you've interacted with a lot of them recently. I think probably like one of the big people I've I started talking to was I guess Minus Criminal, if you can consider him big. I oh. consider him big. I, like, um, I was just asking like random people to like join the, the Dusted Reimagined team. Because I didn't, I wasn't, like, I didn't know anyone at the time, and I was just new in the community, so I just asked, like, a lot, a lot of people, and he initially said no, because he was busy and stuff, uh, but then I started, like, talking with him and everything, and, you, and he was like, you know what, fuck it, I'm, I'm doing sore for you, and I'm like, holy shit. And that's what led, that's pretty much what led you here, interesting. So what was your very first game that you pretty much announced or released hmm. and does it count like I haven't released I think anything like what well, I released something that is not like Undertale related it was like a very bad other like FNAF fun game like uh, okay, that's actually... it was called it was called Five Nights at Marionettes <laughs> That's actually, that's actually new. I never heard knew that one. <laughs> I, I I I tried very hard to to hit everything from 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 view. So that's why you don't know that about that one. <laughs> hey, that's no worries, no worries. It all we all start somewhere, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, pretty much the first big Undertale project you announced publicly. Well, one, which one was that? I'm gonna have to say like. Either the the Dustress Phase Three recreation because I'm like it's just I guess it's kind of a big thing, but it's like I only work on that once in a while. But I, I think my biggest Undertale project is definitely Dust Reimagine. Yes, and Dust Reimagine, you decided to do a different take on it instead of just you know Sans being one of the main villains. Or yep. not villain, my bad. <laughs> Characters. 
<laughs> well, yeah, an antago antagonist villain. Yeah, I guess, I guess he counts as a villain in that style. Yeah, but it's different. And I've I've seen yeah, it. Yeah. I've seen it myself. I've personally am on the team. By the way, make sure to go follow him on Game Joel <laughs> YouTube and you know check out the game page as well. It's amazing. Posted a death vlog recently too. Looks good. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, uh, I I did the writing myself, and you know maybe maybe it's good. Check it out. <laughs> yeah, the writing guys, the writing that Quinn did is 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 really good. Well, thank you. <laughs> no problem. Dude. So who was the first person besides minus like joined your, was minus the first person to join your team? I don't think so. Let me actually check. Like, I I need to. Ch I'm I'm checking the archive. I think it was pretty much Electroid, like one of. Wait, no, no, no. One of the first ever people that was actually the guy who inspired me to make Dusty Reimagine was I don't care, bro. Like, huh. so he was. Very... He was. He's an, yeah, he's an IRL friend of mine and. He was playing like Dustail in a call with me once and he was like, man, this is so unfair and not fun. And I always liked the concept of Dustail, you know. And he told me, he knew that I was making like Undertale fan games and stuff. And he told me like, you should make a, a Dustail game. That, that's, that's amazing. <laughs> that, look how far you come in now. You've gotten, a lot, yeah. you've gotten a lot of followers, subscribers, all that kind of stuff. And it looks amazing. Yeah, we recently passed like 500 followers. I'm like, what the fuck? Exactly. 500 is an amazing, outstanding number. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, everyone, by the way. Again, yeah, that's it's, it's an amazing feat, feat to get 500 for a slam. We almost have 400 subscribers, which is amazing. And thank you all so much for you now following the channel, just watching my videos. Thank you. It's... it's yeah, get Guys, go subscribe to Quinn. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's 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 been an amazing journey and a wild ride for sure. And well, Thelmas has just been a part of that. He pretty much, I got into his team pretty much, I guess, out of a little bit of luck and a little bit of friends. <laughs> I think it was like a short monk way that pretty much got me to meet you and help me join the team. Yeah, probably. Like... Like, I kind of knew you back in the day. I remember that you submitted, like, an an application. I but, did but, like, submit an application, and then you guys got yeah. were too busy at the time. Yeah, wait, let me, let me, let me actually, I think I saved that. I think I saved the application. I think it Hold was, on. I think it took me two applications to get in. Yeah, it was like, yeah. Like, uh, I think I found it. Okay, let me search them. Like, put them in chat. Yeah, okay, there we go. They're like flipped. Or like, that was the first one I think that you posted on the Yeah. Wow. Like, I saw, that was bad. I saw that one. Yeah. And to be fair, like, like, I knew some of the stuff that you made, but like, uh, since you, you made like, uh, so you told me like there's dialogue for DDLC Sans and, and I like, I was like, at the time I was like, what the fuck is DDLC Sans? Oh yeah, Doki Doki Literature Club Sans, that was an, that's been an interest, that's been an interesting thing. I can't see much oh, about, I can't see much about it, but it is pretty close to release. <laughs> Ooh, that's cool. So yeah, that's amazing. But yeah, it's like, it's been so long with that. And still, I'm still learning. <laughs> wow, I can't believe how much things have changed. I moved from Click Team to Godo a while ago. <laughs> yeah, like, like at the time you told me like that you were coding, you were learning Click Team, and I was like, and now I'm, I think like, I'm, fuck. Now that I'm thinking of it, I'm like, wait, <laughs> wait, what? Yeah, that changed like a while ago. <laughs> yeah. Just you know, now you're making BR BR ports to games. Exactly, a Dust Trust Jerry encounter is the official <laughs> name of the title now, which Lamau. is going to be very interesting. I'm going to be very uh, posting my very first devlog soon for it, and you know, officially announce the game page. Only thing I don't have is a banner, <laughs> which I'll, I'll try and find soon. <laughs> 
Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll watch the time soon. Like, send, send me that. I said. Of course, of course. I will definitely send that. But yeah, that does sound like you've done an amazing job. Things have definitely looked up, changed. You know, that's an ama- it's an amazing thing. So we pretty much started since 2019, and it's across four years. You've pretty much gone up like insanely fast. <laughs> Well, yeah. like to having being able to have like two big games, the Dust Hill reimagined and your fa- Dust Trust Phase Three reimagined, uh, recreated. Yeah, like I think I'm pretty happy on how they're both turning out. Like, like just the for example, just the evolution of Dust Hill reimagined. Um, yeah, I think we we uh, think just safe like Dust Hill reimagined. I'm pretty sure because. There was like a lot of stuff that I didn't have like any idea of what to make. I was like just like making stuff like, oh, I want to make like a flowery encounter at the beginning because that seems kind of in character. Yeah. Like now, I'm not sh- <laughs> now I'm not sure if this was public, but was there the thing with Fazzy's? Is that public? The fa- mm. with Fazzy's take is that public yet or no? Like, you mean, uh, the big mistake thing? Yes. I mean... It's been made public that you released a coder of it, right? Because like, I think you uh, made a game job, I, a Discord post on that, right? I think Fassi posted, like, a very small teaser. Like, let me, let me, let me search it. I know, um, I know there was, like, a teaser somewhere that you made on there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I found it. Um... So he posted this old teaser with like the castles and placeholder background. Ah, yes. Okay. So pretty much recently, Fassi, a w- wonderful musician, has made his own project, his Dust Helping Mistake. And Elmaster is the coder for that. In which that case, in which something really cool. And once the game page opens up, I highly recommend you follow that because for somehow I even got writer on that too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which, again, if he, if it's still astounding how I'm growing and OS is growing. Like, we're both growing at the same time, and it's amazing. It's fun. Yeah, yeah that's cool, dude. Like, oh, yeah, you, you even made dialogue for it. I forgot. Yeah, and then, you know, we changed it, and you have fixed better, and it's already done for encounter one. I'm not going to say how many there is, because that's going to be a surprise for later for y'all. Which, yeah. <laughs> that's going to be really fun. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that is a great laugh. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, I think that pretty much you know concludes everything up to you know the present. So yeah, I mean, thank you all so much for just watching, and thank you, Elmaster, for you know participating. Thank you for you know wanting to do an interview. It was really fun. Yeah, same so, same so over here, dude. Thanks for having me over here. Like it's my first time getting like kind of interviewed. I was kind of nervous, but this can be fun. Yeah, I'm, gl- I'm glad it turned out to be pretty fun. Alright, well thank you all so much for listening, watching, you know. It's not, I know there's not much to watch, but it was just two people talking, but still. <laughs> it's something. <Yeah. laughs> I do hope you enjoy, and uh, you have an amazing day. Enjoy, and thank you for watching.